I'm ready. All right, we are here with the Wonder Years. Um, this is the Tonight We Feel Alive tour in Denver, uh, October 15th. Uh, I know you guys don't really have any tattoos, which is cool. Um, I know it was kind of a concern at first, but I said tattoos and music fall hand in hand, so plus I'm a fan, so it kind of works out in a way. Um, some questions are basic that we got to ask, and some um, try to you know, make it a little bit fun if we can. Um, if you guys want to go around, just give us your name and what you do in the band. My name is Dan. Uh, I sing in the band. My name is Josh. I play bass in the band. I'm Casey. I play guitar. I'm Michael. I play drums. I'm Nick. I play keyboards and guitar. Matt, I play guitar. Alright, this is going back a little bit. Um, how did the leaving of Mike and Kelly affect the band? Ooh. Uh, Loaded entry. Oh, <laughs> I had in. At least 30% less beard. Yeah, 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 yeah that, that's probably where it is. We traded up for Nick and look at his shitty. <laughs> we know Mikey, alright? Mikey's one of our best friends, but we just wanted different things for life. It was really as simple as that. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. <coughs> Talked to him today. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, well, because that, uh... We argued about life. Yeah, well, the buzz words... Oh, uh, yeah, he's in that. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. Yeah. He left, like, two years ago. <laughs> cool. Well researched. <laughs> uh, why do you guys think your fan base grew so much after your first full-length album? After our first full-length album? I guess because we had an album. There's nothing for them to listen to really before that. There's nothing distributed and nowhere for them to find us. And right before that, we were on our first like kind of U.S. tour. Yeah, so I guess when we, that's when we started touring. That's our first, yeah. So. <laughs> and uh, what made you guys switch from No Sleep Records to Hopeless Records, and how does it feel to be a part of Hopeless Records? Feels good. Feels great. <laughs> Hopeless Feels, is wonderful. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, our contract was just up. Yeah. It wasn't like a... Uh, like we have to get out of this deal and go to this new deal kind of thing. We we fulfilled all of our requirements and we were free agents and we liked hopeless. Sweet. Uh, do you guys got any pre pre show rituals that you guys do? I do. I uh, I brush my teeth before every show. <laughs> I don't know why, but it like opens up my vocal cords. I guess at least I <laughs> pretend it does. My brain it works. I just do extensive stretching. Which is like it. unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Thirty Rock. Like a serious amount of Thirty Rock. Ooh. It's in my dreams now. I always put chapstick on for some reason. I have to have chapstick on. When I play. I just, None of you know that, but now you do. Oh, I, train, I change my shoes. I do. A lot of us wear like gig clothes because they get really smelly, and we have limited <laughs> supply. So I've been wearing the same shirt and shorts for pretty much the whole tour. So you just kind of destroy one <coughs> one pair of clothes, and then you can wear your other clothes and not stay. Yeah, you know, five days in a row. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and then, I feel like putting on wet jeans right before you go to play. Yeah, yeah. and then all, of course the the group prayer to Satan. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I've awesome. worn the same Hail. tank top without washing it for the past three tours, so that's good. Oh, you yeah. know the shoes on. That thing really smells. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know the Satan shoes on. No, I don't. I have my seven dollars shoes. On. You should have on your Satan shoes. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> uh, you guys got any crazy tour or fan stories? Um, my favorite tour story is always the uh, Straight Talk Express. Yeah, I, I rule. It's the, the Straight Talk Express was uh, John McCain's tour bus when he was um, campaigning. campaigning to be the president of the United States. And uh, I feel like it shock up his loss exclusively to the fact that he saw Mike Kennedy's testicles. <laughs> because we passed that bus and Kennedy hung his balls out the window. I think it's also the only time my father saw me he's proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> so cheers to that. That's always my favorite tour yeah. story. And, uh, oh, you guys weren't there. The night I stayed with Save Your Breath, we, uh, we robbed, like, an yeah. entire dorm. And, like, oh, yeah. the Leeds University dorms closed down for in between semesters, and you had to be out, and anything you left there was just getting thrown out. But we stayed with the guy that had the key to all the rooms, so he opened, like, every room. We just went in and pillaged, and, but we were doing it for fun. We were, like, running in, like, swarm, swarm, swarm. And in one room, there was a girl still asleep on a couch, so I guess got special permission. It was terrified. It was at three in the morning, seven dudes ran into the room screaming, Swarm. Nice. Alright. How does it feel to be a part of the Tonight We Feel Alive tour with Headliner Four Years Strong and Comeback Kid? Uh, awesome. It's great. We've uh, toured with Comeback Kid and Four Years Strong already this year, and it was uh, exciting to see them again in a longer setting. And the guys in Fangs, uh, we had never met before, but they uh, are really sweet dudes. Yeah, it's been fun. It's yeah, fun. we just recently talked to them. Yeah, yeah. real cool guys. Yeah, it's been a real Super good time. It's a really easy and fun tour to be on. Just we're all friends, hanging out. It's not a lot of stress. Sweet. 
And you're Mike Kennedy? I am Mike Kennedy. All right, I was reading on Wikipedia after oh. the release of oh, the no. upsides. That oh, okay. uh, oh, the Indian the year. Bad oh, the Indian year. Oh, oh. uh, I left to pursue uh, a different life and then left that life to re-pursue this one. <laughs> <laughs> he was in Puppetry of the Penis. <laughs> I, I quit for a while to work at the Smithsonian down in D.C., but after my internship expired, instead of going to grad school, as was the plan, I came back to play drums, and Nick, my beloved friend, uh, went to third guitar, because every pop punk band needs a third guitar player, and now I play drums again. <laughs> nice. Good friend. Uh, I also pretend to play keyboard. No, yeah, you do. <laughs> like in May. You're like, I'm, 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 I'm not bald, and I don't have four keys. Shave your head, dude. No. You won't. <laughs> All right, I will. Done. Uh, what's the inspiration uh, behind your current album, The Upsides? Uh, I would say that the inspiration behind The Upsides is uh, kind of learning to appreciate the good things in your life and then uh, you know, figuring out what the bad things are and systematically eradicating them. Eliminating, just you know? eliminating, just finding the things that you know are <laughs> what, figuring out what's keeping you down, and you know changing those things. So destroying them without a trace. <laughs> yeah, with hammers. The scorched earth policy. <laughs> All right. Uh, what made you guys uh, decide to cover Ziploc by the band Lamp? Great song. It rules. Yeah, uh, yeah, we got bad. asked to do the Suburban Home Under the Influence uh, yeah, yeah. series. And um, we found out, uh, we when we found out, we decided we didn't want to do something that, like, you know, kind of that everyone else would do, like a Save the Day song or a Get Up Kids song. So we picked Lit because 90s rock is awesome. And, you know, who doesn't own a place in the sun? So. Great record. There you go. Uh, last and final, uh, what does the future hold for the Wonder Years? Any big plans or side projects going on? Uh, we're gonna break it up like this week. Yeah, this yeah. show. Yeah. 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 show. You heard the, uh, uh, the last uh, final interview. Yeah. 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 Well, well, I mean, after we break up, we are actually uh, <laughs> devoting <laughs> ourselves to the Church of Satan. Yeah. yeah. Nick and I are starting uh, a power violence band called Aluminum Jaguar. Uh, it's exclusively gonna play England because they say Aluminium Jaguar. <laughs> uh, um, also, there will be a new band called Mike and Nick taking over the radio. It'll be very good. It's, be it's like Matt and Kim, Kim but <laughs> Mike and Nick. We're better looking. We're better looking. Nope. Have to keep me updated. <laughs> we're continuing <laughs> the solo project. We're, uh, we're writing a record after this tour. Um, we had two, write, two months to write it, and then we go record it with Steve Evans. And then right after we're done recording it, we're going to the United Kingdom for the Kerrang! Tour. We could Charlotte, Four Years Strong, and Frankie Hanley. Nice. Sweet. Sweet. It's definitely a pleasure, guys. I thank you for taking the time. Thank you. Definitely going to